This is Milton Cross, children. I'm going to tell you the story with music of the Sorcerer's Apprentice. This is the Sorcerer, as you will hear him in the music. This is the Apprentice. And there is a broom that does very surprising things. And now for the story. Once there was a sorcerer who wore a black pointed hat and a long black cape. He lived in an old, dark house with Willie, who was the sorcerer's apprentice. The sorcerer could do all sorts of magic. He could even turn brooms into live things. All the sorcerer had to do was to recite a few magic words, and swish, the broom would have eyes, ears, arms, and legs. Then the broom would do anything the sorcerer wanted. Cook my dinner, and the broom would cook the sorcerer's dinner. Wash the dishes, and the broom would wash the dishes. Sweep the floor, and the broom would sweep the floor. One day, the sorcerer told Willie, I must do some magic for the king. Be sure to fill my tub with water before I get back. I will be tired and warm and will want a bath. With these words, the sorcerer put on his black pointed hat with his long black cape and strode out. Willie was all alone in the old dark house. No sooner had the sorcerer left when Willie sank into a soft, easy chair with his hands behind his head and whistled. Willie would rather whistle than work. If I fill the tub myself, said Willie, I'll have to carry the bucket to and from the well 77 times, and that's too much work. He thought and thought and whistled. <laughs> Suddenly, Willie jumped up. I've got it, he shouted. I'll make the old broom do my work. I'll use the sorcerer's magic. Willie held his hands out in front of him, faced the broom, and recited these magic words. Eerie, scary, weepy willow, roaring, soaring, sea foam billow, witch's chant and devil's dish. Broom, go forth and do my wish. <laughs> Tub with water, ordered Willie. Willie's mouth opened wide. The broom began to stir. The broom thumped and hopped its way to the bucket, looped it up by the handle, and thumped along to the well. The broom dipped the bucket into the water until it was filled. Then it stumped and thumped back and emptied the bucket of water into the tub. Willie was very happy. Willie leaned back in the soft, easy chair and whistled. And whistled. While the broom did his work. Back and forth thumped the broom, filling the bucket with water from the well and emptying the water into the tub. What a 
smart boy am I, thought Willie. Never again will I have to carry water for the sorcerer's bath or chop wood for the fire or sweep the floors. Now I know the sorcerer's magic. But did Willie really know all of the sorcerer's magic? The broom is hopping, but what about stopping? Broom, carry the water, fill the tub. Willie's as snug as a baby cub. While Willie leaned back in the soft, easy chair with his legs on a stool, the broom thumped its way back and forth, filling the bucket with water from the well and emptying the water into the tub. The tub was now filled to the very top, and the water was flowing over the sides. But the broom kept right on pouring more and more buckets of water into the tub. Just then, Willie looked down. There he saw a flood of water rising slowly up the legs of the stool. Stop, broom, stop, shouted Willie. But the broom did not stop. Willie repeated the sorcerer's magic words. Geary, scary, weepy willow, soaring, roaring, sea foam billow, witch's chant and devil's dish. Broom, go forth and do my wish. But the broom kept pumping along to the well and back again. By this time, the water reached Willie's ankles. Abracadabra, abracadabra, hold broom, shouted Willie. But the broom stomped right on. Master, master, please come back, cried Willie to the sorcerer. But the sorcerer did not come. The water now reached Willie's knees. Willie sloshed through the water after the broom, but the broom would not stop. In the corner of the room stood an axe. Willie seized the axe and with one stroke chopped the broom in two. The broom fell to the ground. Then a strange thing happened. Instead of one broom, there were now two live brooms with eyes, ears, arms, and legs. Two brooms now looped up buckets and hopped, thumped, and stumped to the well. Two brooms now splashed buckets of water into the tub. and Willie fell, splash, into the flood of water on the floor. The water now came above Willie's knees. It poured into the kitchen and into the cellar and out into the garden. Stools and chairs and pots and pans 
floated around the house. Still, the brooms came and splashed more water into the overflowing tub. Just then, the sorcerer appeared. Master, oh master, please stop the brooms, cried Willie. The sorcerer raised his hands and chanted, Scary, eerie, weepy willow, soaring, roaring, foam sea billow, witches chant and devil's dish. Broom, stand still. That is my wish. slowly back to its corner. The sorcerer waved his hands and all the water flowed back into the well and disappeared. Willie, spoke the sorcerer, never try to do magic again until I've taught you how. And Willie never did. Thank <laughs> you.